Hi, I'm Wes, a support engineer with Greenview Data. In this brief video, I'll show you how to read a bounce bag. If you don't already know, a bounce bag is an automated message that a server sends you explaining why it could not deliver an email that you tried to send. An email travels across the internet like a package you ship to someone. The package wouldn't go directly from your door to the recipients. Instead, it would be routed through several distribution centers on its way. Likewise, when you send an email, it passes through multiple servers on its way to the recipient. If one of those servers refuses to accept the email, it tells the previous server why. That previous server then sends an email back to you, the original sender, explaining why it could not pass the email to the next server in the route. That's called a non-delivery report, or more commonly, a bounce back. You'll receive the bounce back as an email, and it will look something like this. Although this might look confusing, most bounce backs are easy to interpret once you know what to look for. Usually, you'll only need two pieces of information to tell you what happened. The name of the server that sent you the bounce back and the reason your email was rejected. Most of the bounce backs we see are generated because the email contained a spam or a virus or because the recipient's email address was invalid. Let's look at an example of each. First, we sent an email that we knew would be identified as spam from a Gmail test account to a Greenview Data test account that uses our Spam Stops Here anti-spam service. As expected, one of our Spam Stops Here servers rejected the email. First, look at the email address that sent you the bounce back. The domain, the part after the at sign, will be the name of a server. Here, the sender's Google Mail or Gmail server sent the bounce back to us, so we know the email stopped there. Next, look at the body of the bounce back message and find the text that follows the status codes. Here, it tells us the message was rejected because the email content was not allowed. That generally means the email contained a spam, a virus, or other malware. If you receive a bounce back like this from an email that you send, you might have an outgoing spam problem. Contact your support desk immediately. In the next example, we sent an otherwise valid email to a non-existent user at greenviewdata.com, so it would be rejected by our incoming email server. As you can see, the bounce back was sent by a Spam Stops Here server, so the next server in line, probably the intended recipient server, rejected it. Further down, you can see exactly that. The recipient's address, nobody at greenviewdata.com, was rejected. That usually means there's no email account with that name on the recipient's server. If you receive a bounce back like this, check the spelling of the recipient's address. It may be misspelled. If not, then the email address probably doesn't exist anymore. You may want to contact the recipient some other way to find out if they have a new address. That should help you get started interpreting bounce backs. You can read more about them at our Spam Stops Here FAQ at greenviewdata.com support. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're creating new videos all the time. If you have any questions about Spam Stops Here or any of our other cloud-based email solutions, feel free to call, start a chat, or email us today. We're always here, 24-7, 365.